Hey there YouTube, it's your girl Bunny Girl coming at you with a hair review. This hair, I bought this hair from Big Chop Hair. Uh, this is their, what they call their summer curl. Um, I got two 16 inches and a closure. Um, I colored this hair, which it colored really well. This hair really seems to be some good hair. I had bought some hair from them before, and I really liked it. It was their uh, kinky curl hair I bought from them about over about a year ago, and it's still lasting. It's some good hair, so I figured I'd buy this hair. So, I like the hair, but the only thing that I did not like was the customer service. So, I ordered this hair, and when I ordered this hair... Um, I was looking for the tracking number after I bought it a couple of days to see if they had mailed it off. So it, I probably ordered it like on a Monday and by that Friday or, or maybe a week after I was looking for a tracking number to see if it had been shipped. So um, it had not been shipped. I didn't see anything. So I called them. No one answered. I tried calling them again, left messages. Uh, finally, I called. Someone answered. I asked them, had my hair been shipped out yet? Uh, they said that, uh, oh, your hair should be shipped out. So let me get with my manager. That's what the young lady told me. Let me get with my manager and see. So um, about two days later, I get a... Um, a tracking number from PayPal because I bought it through PayPal I was like okay cool they're about to ship it off and a couple of days later I go back to check it seems like it's still in the same spot it says your package has been shipped but it's still in the same spot nothing has happened it's still it hasn't moved so I wait a couple more days I look at it nothing's happened it's still in the same spot so then I call the post office, I tell the post office what's going on, I have a tracking number, and they said, well, maybe a label was made, but they have not brought the pot product to the post office to get shipped off. So I called them again, uh, I, this time I spoke to the same young lady, she uh, was like, well, I don't know, you know, let me speak to you, uh, and then she let me speak with her manager. Her manager was like, well, we made the shipping label uh, just for when the package comes. Um, all we have to do is put the label on the package. And I'm like, it takes every bit of two minutes to make a label. So why are you trying to play me for crazy? Okay, I know what you're doing. You're trying to make it seem like you shipped off the package, which you really had not shipped off the package. So she told me she would call me. Because she told me that the hair was coming from China and that once it got there, she would ship it off to me. And for some reason, I don't know why I was thinking the hair was made there. I don't know. But anyway, so maybe about another week or maybe a half a week, almost a week goes by. I still don't receive anything. And then I'm watching YouTube, watching about their hair. And then I see another young lady on here with the same problem. I'm talking about how long it took her hair to get to her and how she found the owner on Instagram and she left the owner's name on Instagram. So I immediately contacted the owner through Instagram and she responded quickly um, and she told me that she would look into it. So the next that next day, I t uh, emailed, uh, messaged her back and she said, oh, the hair will be shipped. So within about... After me talking to the owner about three days later, I received, um, about three, four days later, I received the hair. So it took me getting the owner involved in the transaction for it to happen. I don't know why they were not shipping off the hair. Terrible customer service. The owner was cool. The owner got everything rolling. I know she had just had a baby. But uh, the owner got everything rolling and stuff like that. So I was happy when the hair got here. But then once it got here, I was like, hold it. I ordered a 14, a 16, and a closure. And this really didn't look like it. So I uh, messaged her back. She said, oh, yeah, it's uh, we didn't have 14, so we sent you two 16s. And I'm like, this don't even look like a 16. But lo and behold, once I washed the hair... And uh, the hair, it started to look like it was 16 inches and I was quite, I'm quite happy with the hair. The hair is some beautiful hair. Uh, this is two bundles and a closure, which I uh, bleached. And so I think it's some beautiful hair. 
it doesn't really shed at all. I mean, I've gotten a couple of strings with nothing big. But the customer service is terrible. One remark to you, bit chop hair. Your hair is beautiful, but you need to focus on customer service. Because if you do not have good customer service, you are going to lose some customers. But... That being said, I'm happy with the hair. I love the hair. I'm about to go on a trip, and it's going to be in the nice hot weather. So I think this hair is going to be perfect. But I just wanted to put that review out there about Big Chop Hair. Beautiful hair. Terrible customer service. Uh, the hair was not cheap at all. By no means that's possible. Was it cheap? This is the most expensive hair I've ever bought. But I know it's some good hair. So with that being said, I'm going to end this. So you guys take care, have a good day, and God bless.